now welcome back to my channel sorry I have been out and about not really about but out not really out I've been sick <laughs> so again I haven't filmed in probably about a week and so I am very far behind but I thought I would get started and start with my favorite box which is the Sephora play box I did get mine probably around the 18th of November and today is the 22nd 22nd so I get it kind of late in the month which is kind of a bummer but it's always well worth it so I will start off by um, reviewing last month's for October so let me get that stuff out so it came in a nice blue packaging bag or whatever let me get this opened so I'll know what I'm talking about um, last month I was missing one product. Was it one or two? And they were sending me products um, to replace that, but they ended up being out of one of them, and I can't even remember what they sent me in replacement. So we'll just go from what I have. All right. So the first thing that I received was the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I didn't open this because I already have one opened. I love this. I know it's great. So I won't go into too much of that. Um, I also received the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief um, Lotion. And if you can hear that, it's very liquidy. I thought it would be more of a moisturizer. Let's see what it says. Um... It's a calming lotion to reduce the look of redness. It says to use a grape size amount, which I remember mentioning in my video. It's very liquidy, but a grape size would be a lot. So I would say do not use that much. Um, and apply it to your face. I don't know. I used it more as a moisturizer. I feel like it was just really too thin for that. I did like it. I still have quite a few bit left so I'm gonna keep trying it I don't really have an opinion of it um, it wasn't bad it made me break out didn't give me a rash didn't irritate my skin which is very 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 sensitive so that is always good but I don't have much of an opinion besides that that it's very very liquidy and I wouldn't say it's really even moisturizing I mean it felt nice but it wasn't like my skin felt moisturized <laughs> I guess is I don't know I'm still on still still thinking about it we'll see I'll keep using it and I'll let you know how it is um, the next thing I got was this apple cider vinegar hair mask I did use this it was one use for my hair and I have very very fine I am obviously still a little sick I have very fine it just reminded me of that Friends episode where Monica's sick and she's all fined. And they're like, if you're saying fine with a D, you're sick. I feel like I just said that. I have very fine hair and this was horrible. I First of all, I had to use the whole packet. So if you have way more hair than I do or way longer hair than I do, there's no way that this could give you even one use worth, I don't think. And it made my hair not even soft. It didn't feel good. Um, I wouldn't buy it for sure. Um, this was a bonus gift this week or that month, last month. And yeah, it's a no. Uh, no. All right. The next thing is the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer Base. And I use this in my weekly makeup basket for probably two weeks. I really liked this. I thought it was absolutely felt great. I don't know if it necessarily made my makeup last longer, but it did make my face feel nice, which is a hydrating primer. So I don't think it's necessarily trying to say that it's going to make your makeup last longer. So for me, this was really good. I would consider repurchasing this. I always forget if they give the prices. They don't. So I thought it was really good. So I would consider it. The next and last thing, because the thing that I did not receive, which I'll put a post picture here, was the Youth to the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser was not in my box. I can't even remember what they sent me, so I don't even know if I used it. Probably not since I don't have it in here. But I didn't receive this. I wish I would have because that would have been really nice. So the last thing that I actually received and got to use was this Shiseido Wasso Clear Mega Hydrating Cream. Now this is so good. 
hope it's gonna give you, let you see the writing. But it's a very jelly-like consistency. This felt really good on the skin. I have a very dry, I have a combination skin, but definitely now that it's getting colder, I do lean more towards dry. And this isn't enough moisturizer for me, but I think I'm going to hold on to it and not use it right now until it gets to be a little bit more warmer, maybe in the spring. But I think this would be really nice for me in the spring. So if you have a very dry skin, I don't know if this would be hydrating enough for you because I don't think it was for me. So other than that, though, I like the consistency. It was very nice, felt really good on the skin. It was so it all in all, it was a fairly good product. So that is everything for my October Sephora Play. So let's get into the new one, which I cannot wait. I think these are good for, for 10 bucks a month. I don't know why people complain so much about this. So this month, the bag is in purple. It's like I said, last month was blue. I still am trying to figure out a good use for these, but I do keep them. <laughs> so let me open up this. And luckily this month, I am not missing any products. So the first thing in my box was this Diva Curl Melt Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. I love Diva Curl. I use tons of their products. I haven't tried this, so I'm very excited to try this out. This said this was chosen for my hair type, which I do have curlier hair, curly to wavy hair. So I'm hoping that I'll really enjoy that. The perfume sample this month was from Versace, which is the Bright Crystal. I hope I said that right. No, I'm thinking I didn't. But this is in Bright Crystal. I think I've gotten this before. Um, I don't have a smell. So I, me trying to smell is kind of funny. So I, don't, I can't tell you what any of that is. So I'll definitely try that out. <laughs> the next thing in my box is by Skin Fix Redness Recovery. It says this was chosen for my skin concerns. Um, antioxidant redness treatment. So, ooh, can't smell it. It looks like a really nice, what is it? Is it cream? Is it, what is it? Um, overnight mask calms and visibly reduces red. So it's like a moisturizing mask for overnight. I love that. I am super excited to try that. I hope this works really well because I like that, especially like I said, why I'm in the winter when I am more dry. The next thing that I got was this Kiehl's Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. I don't know if I even said that right. But this must be a moisturizer as well. Um, yeah, just a water cream. So it's, again, I can't, oh, I can smell it. It has lemon in it, and that must be pretty strong because I am all stuffed up. But I, again, I love moisturizer, especially in the summer, or summer. <laughs> Obviously, I'm dreaming of hot weather, especially in the winter, so this will get much use out of me. The last two products are makeup products, which is always nice. I feel like I do get more skincare and um, hair care in, these, in the Sephora Play box, which is fine, but the next two are makeup so which is good this is the Ciate watermelon burst hydrating primer again big on the hydrating it says this is an exclusive and new product it looks really nice um looks like it has watermelon seeds in it which is kind of cute and I can actually smell that so it must be pretty strong fragrance um like watermelon so I will be trying that out I'm sure in the next week or two the last thing in my box is from Artist Couture. It is the Diamond Glow Powder in Yas. And this is an exclusive product. So, must, so I, I think that means only at Sephora. I do have one of the Artist Couture's um, highlighters already. I don't use it because I'm just, it's hard for me to use. Not hard. It's, I don't tend to pull for, um, can you guys see that? Oh, it's pretty. I don't tend to pull for loose highlighters, but this is really pretty. I wonder if I already have this color though. I have just, I have one or two. I have one or two of these loose highlighters, but I bought it a long time ago. So it'll be interesting to see if I have this color, but you can kind of see it. It's right here. It's really reflective. It feels really nice. It kind of blends out really nice. So I'm excited to try this. This is a perfect size of a loose highlighter for me because I will never go through this, even this amount. So 
that is everything in my Sephora play box for November 2019. Let me know if you get this box and what you got or if you've used any of these products and what you think of them because I am super excited about all of them. Not one am I like disappointed in. So that's always a good month. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.